Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the land of Flanders. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Who the shit is this? Oh, our bright orange is gone, and we're left with this dull, boring, horrible, horrible orange of the Netherlands. But look, we still have our bright orange border, so that's nice. My goodness. Anyway, last episode, we took some HRE lands from Poland, and I was debating... Poland actually did a lot of culture conversion. You can see they have Polish, Polish, Polish. These two should be Silesian, and this one should be Czech. But he's actually converted them to Polish. So I was I was debating selling them to Bohemia, but since they're not Czech, probably doesn't make any sense. Uh, and also, Oberlausitz here, this one still is Czech, so Poland did not finish converting this. And Bohemia does have a claim here, so I think I'm just going to sell it to Bohemia. I was debating whether or not to do that, but I think I will. So, let's keep going. Ah, we are Papal Controller. Great. That's why we lost a Diplomat. And we can invest. Of course we'll invest. Good times. The new nation of the Netherlands. No one's ever heard of us before. I sure as hell don't know what the hell we just did. We click the button and all of a sudden, our nation is different. Who knew clicking a button could make your nation different? But it does. It's amazing. There are some Pomeranian nationalists. I actually hope they succeed up here in Welligrad. Because if they do, it'll add a prince back. We're at 23 right now. So doing that would be 24. And then if we could also get Italy to release Carnton. I'm oh, sorry, not Carnton. If we can get them to release Carinthia, we'd be back to 25. Get our bonus again. Be very nice. 25 princes is the minimum you need. We do have our electors. Uh, but more princes is always good. Whoa! Salzburg is voting for Italy? What? No, you do not vote for Italy, Salzburg. You little shitbag. Oh, don't do that. Poland entered a coalition against us. I don't care. All right, Bohemia. Oh, goodness, rebels. Bohemia, please, to be buying Oberlausitz. So I don't have to core it. I mean, it's not very expensive. It's 64 points to core it, but he's Czech. He should own it, not me. There you go. Great. And he shouldn't hate us anymore. Well, a little bit. Not too much, though. All right, where's my best general? Who is my best general? My best general is our conquistador. Oh, goody. Well, let's use him to take out these rebel, 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 rebels. I don't want to start the war with Italy, and yet, by the way, we're looking to go to war with Italy so that we can make him release Carinthia, but we don't, want to we don't want to start the war with Italy until my vassal has finished coring Armagnac. You can see the little, you can see the little douche nozzle there right behind the flag. He is currently coring it. Unfortunately, we cannot see the coring progress, so we just have to wait for that little douche nozzle to go away, then we can sell him Nafaroi, and then we can go to war with Italy. Ah, oh, my goodness, because you can't sell land when you're at war, so we just got to wait. No big deal. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Who needs a hug? Who needs a hug? But then, no. Wow. 77 aggressive expansion. My goodness. Let's go to Augsburg. Get some hugs. We got to get our uh, Imperial Authority up. Anyone need a religious conversion? No? No, just Munich. Just Munich, but we can't do anything about Munich, so oh well. Meissen is a merchant republic. Oh. Good for you, Meissen, the Merchant Republic of Meissen. Whole bunch of people to choose from, that's fine. Kill some rebels, that's fine. Oh yeah, our general's way better than his general. My general can beat up your general. And let's get relations up with Poland, because why not? And Germany? Sure, why not? We didn't excommunicate you or anything. It should be fine. Wait, did you guys seriously just stop? So my fleet, which was patrolling the Antwerpen note, were they patrolling Antwerpen or Lubeck? It might have been Lubeck. Okay, so our fleet was patrolling Lubeck, I think. Um, maybe? I might be an idiot.
Well, let's just assume our fleet was patrolling Lubeck. They just stopped. They just stopped. They, have, they are doing nothing now. And I certainly did not have them blockading during the war. They were still told to patrol. So I think they might just be confused. Go back to Lubeck. Can you do that for me? There we go. Now we have the number two strength in Lubeck. Good. Get me them ducats. Give me them ducats. Buckets of ducats. Buckets of ducats. Ooh, yeah. Let's get relations up with Austria. Get relations up with everyone. Hmm. Oh, shit. More Protestants. The religion and iPad changes to Protestant. Why do we have a province named iPad? I let Twitch chat get away with way too much shit. We have a province named iPad. He's not done coring. Damn it. Come on, finish coring. Germany, are you annexing anyone yet? Nope. I mean, I don't really care if he annexes Valois. Uh, most likely, if Germany annexes Valois, they will just get spat out, and they'll probably go back to the Shia Caliphate because they are Andalusian. We'll see. Oh, God, how many Protestant provinces are we going to have? Goodness. Don't need this Protestantism. And wow, for some reason we have no papal influence points. I honestly don't know why. But yeah, we don't have any. Hmm. Weird. France has religious civil disorder. Okay, good for you, France. Congratulations. Will you finish Goring Armagnac, please? Plays. Oh, colonization successful Connecticut. Good times. But yeah, we're going to rip him out. And we're going to send him to Madeira. To, not Madeira. To Cape Verde. To finish Cape Verde real quick. Yunk. Because we want to finish up Cape Verde so that we can send a second colony over here. Merchant arranges expedition. Get an early Carrick in Bath. Get an explorer with 20 tradition. Oh, that's actually perfectly fine. We can go exploring again. Yay, exploring. Why don't you head over here? See if you can't discover some of this shit. How do you like it when I call your work shit? I bet you don't like that at all. Is he any good? Oh, he's got maneuver too. He's actually pretty good. He's way better than our last guy. Uh, and then just go dock up. Good job. And we also got an early Carrick, which is a heavy ship. I'm just going to delete that. Thanks, though. We don't need a heavy ship. My vassal is standing in Warsaw. Why? Why are you still in Warsaw? Go home. Go home, goddammit. Stupid vassal. Byzantium and Bremen. Darn it, I can't believe how well Italy is fighting these guys. Well, I guess I can believe it, but it really sucks. I was hoping people would be able to fight Italy, but they just can't. No one can fight Italy. Are you done corn it yet, bro? Nope, he's still corn it. Come on. How long can it take to core a province? Oh, and man, this guy is discovering everything. Cahokia, Seminole, Wea, Mondon. This guy's just discovering. He's amazing. And the only difference between him and the last explorer is this guy has two maneuver. The last guy had zero. Makes a big difference. Come on. Core it. Core it. Lazy bastard. He's like, I'll core it later. I'm tired. Come on. Austria broke their alliance with Tyrol. Oh, we have a thousand ducats. Can we build anything? 
No, we need more monies. Hmm. Oh, I wish I had a, a guy for uh, uh, missionary chance, but it's just not available. Let Patriot Rebels succeed to get new cores? Where? No, pa uh, Patriot Rebels do not put down cores. Those are um, Nationalist Rebels that put down cores. Patriot Rebels just flip land. They don't actually put down cores. Come on. Finish that shit, Armaniac. Son of a bitch. CB on Welligrad. I don't want CB on Welligrad. Ooh, Tartu is independent. Oh, Tartu is independent from Lithuania. Look at that. Neat. Estonian Romuva. Cool. Alright, our fleet is healing up. He is pretty much healthy. I think we're just going to keep on going. Um, with the with the speed two, the maneuver two, it means he can explore a lot farther than the maneuver zero guy. So not only is he better at discovering land, uh, but he is also faster at sailing. Right? It's a double bonus. You can't lose. You can't run. Jugs gotcha. All right, he finished. He just finished, like right now. Good. Let me sell you Nafroa. Actually, can I sell you Aragoy? It's a better province. Yeah, okay. There you go. Great. Build many factories and hover over the build thingy. You'll see that many factories do a lot of good things. Yeah, I know, but we don't... You need certain tech for many factories. We don't really have anything other than weapons and farm estates. And the weapons aren't going to be that amazing. A uh, couple ducats here and there, but it costs a lot of money to put these down. Farm Estate gives you, again, a couple ducats here and there. Not so supremely awesome. They're not bad, but they're, they're just not amazing. I think I'd rather go for Constables and Temples. Oof, Constables, Temper. Temper! Temper? Temper. And constables. Just because they're cheaper to throw down. You get some good money out of them. Well, relatively. Uh, Anglo-Saxon? Sure. It's accepted culture. We'll do that. And we're broke. Man, that did not take too long to go broke. Thousand duck is just disappears. It vanishes without a trace. Lithuania wants to be friends, huh? Yeah, look at that. Threatened. Interesting. Whereas Poland's not threatened, he's outraged. He's like, you took my lands. I mean, well, it's imperial lands. You shouldn't have had it in the first place, Poland. All right, so it is time for war with Italy. Yo, Italy. Uh, I really hope the Sunni Caliphate doesn't join. In fact... I'm tempted just to declare on Toulouse, because if I declare on Toulouse, then I don't think Italy will take over leadership. Probably has to do with comparing their military strength. Italy is at 58, Toulouse is way down here at 16. Okay, Italy would definitely take over. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, let's give it a go. Imperial Liberation. Conquest. Imperial ban. Does it really matter? Let's see. Aggressive expansion. 200% prestige for conquest. Core return. Liberation of vassals. Liberation of countries. That's what we want. We want liberation of countries. So let's declare for... I don't know. Lombardia? Done. Now the Sunni Caliphate may join this. Uh, I don't really have a plan on what to do if they do join. Let's just hope they don't join. Toulouse is in. Salzburg did not come, but the Sunnis did. Oh, shit. The Sunni Caliphate. So this is a bigger war than I expected. 
Yeah. About that. Oh, God. Uh, do we have a mission for the Holy Land? No, we do not. So, we're probably just going to ignore the Sunni Caliphate. They do have a lot of troops, 46,000 troops, but they don't have much manpower. And I'm not too worried about their navy. I'm pretty sure my 63 ships can take them out. So I think at this point we are just going to, uh, I don't know, invade Toulouse. Maybe take Perigord and Bern because those we can sell to Marsan. But other than that, we're going to leave... We might take Barry. So we can walk back and forth. That's probably a smart move. I eh, might do that. But for the most part, we're just going to make him release Corinthia. That's all I want. Release Corinthia. Now we declared for... We declared for Lombardia. So let's send our army to Lombardia right now. And see what his response to that will be. Probably nothing. I can't imagine he's really going to give a damn. Uh, but what we could do is try to block him off. If we can get to Trebizo, which is mostly mountains, we should be sitting pretty. At least I think so. It really matters on what he does. Uh, Toulouse, poop out a siege, go there. Poop out a siege, go there. And just see, just capital, that's fine. Covered Maxis, all right. I mean, he's not amazing. He has done a lot better than the previous guy, but he is still missing some stuff. Let's see if we can discover some of that shit. Uh, and then come on down. And then go dock up. Oh, we're at war with the Sunni Caliphate. I didn't want that. Oh, well. What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Go to Provence and Dauphine. We'll carpet siege this guy. Should be pretty easy to siege out to loose, get him out of the war, and then move on. There he is. Hello. And he's attacking me in Lombardia. I've got a 3 1. He's got a 4 3. He has a way better general. Let me turn on my checkbox, see if I can get my buddies to help me out. Um, at the very least, I can bring in these reinforcements right now. And you guys as well. But I don't really have a better general. I might want to roll a little bit to see if we can find one. 75. We should be getting We should be getting a better general than a 3-2 with 75 tradition, but I guess we've been a little unlucky with our generals. It happens. Hmm. hmm. Let me recruit a dude. And I'll give him a new general once he's recruited. But in the meantime. Lombardia has a decent amount of mountains. Let me go to the terrain view. Uh, what do we got? Come on. Terrain view. Yeah, 31 mountains, 25 hills. So most likely we'll get a defense bonus of some kind. There is a river crossing, so there will at least be a negative one for him. Uh, and his tech is the same as ours, so we should be all right. Come at me, bro. Yeah, we got a mountain. Good. So we got a 30%, and he has a river crossing. And we rolled a 9. He rolled a 0. Uh, wow, what a nice start. And then he rolled another zero. Oh my goodness, I feel bad for you, Italy. The AI just rolled two zeros in a row. Oh my goodness. Poor Italy. Oh, but now, now he rolls a nine. So I guess that evens things out. Yeah, we'll be fine. In fact, I'm going to go this way instead. Go to Treviso. Oh my god, I don't need more Protestants. I really don't. Can you stop it with the Protestants, please? Can we call Crusade on the Sunnis? Um, no, I don't want to. I think we already have the Shia going. Yeah, there already is a Crusade for the Shia. Until 12 years from now, so can't do much about that. Hmm... But yeah, that went rather well. I wonder where he's retreating to. In fact, why don't we uh, chase him down and squish that army? He's probably going to his capital. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe Rome? 
Or Florence? He's probably going to Florence. Yep. But he is going to get the end of the month bonus. We couldn't get there fast enough. Let's see if we can squish him, though, before he gets too much morale. Wouldn't that be nice? Come on, squish. Come on. No, he's not going to squish. Yeah, he's hanging around too long. Damn it. Where to? Romania. All right. He's probably running to Venice. That's fine, actually. If he goes to Venice, I think we're in good shape. Let me turn off my checkbox. And yeah, those sieges are going. All right, we're going to get a new general here. Ooh, a 3-5. Nice. Way better. You're going to go to Trevizo, my friend. Oh, God, I don't need more Protestants. Stop it. Stop it. Yep, he's going to Venice. Look at this guy. He's going to Venice. He thinks being in Venice will save him. That's hilarious. All it means is his army is trapped. I like that he went to Venice. That's good for me that he went to Venice. All right, check mark is off. Good. Um, I guess. Hmm. Oh, Crane is a separate nation in here. So we could make him release Crane and Corinthia. That sounds like a plan. And Istria. Oh, we can release three nations. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, we'll be up to 26 elector or 26 uh, princes in the empire. That'd be fantastic. Uh, let's split in half. I want to cover the peninsula here. So I want to be Verona, Ferrara, Modena, just to protect this area. So even if he recruits more dudes, he won't be able to do anything. That's the plan. Thus is the plan, yes. Are we going to liberate the Pope? You know, we could do that. Uh, I've done it previously, and it didn't actually help, because Italy just declared war on him like two weeks later and took it back. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. We should probably try to liberate the Pope. Suffragan Bishop Act. National tax goes down. Stability cost is cheaper. Are we, do we get much money from taxes? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that then. We make most of our money on taxes. Oh, shit. <laughs> and Persia's at war again. Yeah, he's fucked. The Samanids and the Sunnis are invading Persia. Well, GG Persia, GG. Are you coring this yet? Nope, my vassal is not coring this yet. But he doesn't have any revolt risk, which is nice. Oh, he's doing harsh treatment, that's why. No, nah, understandable. Understandable. Alright, group those guys up. Thank you very much. And you can uh, poop out a siege. And let's go... Actually, no, that's not good enough. There you go. And then go to Parma. And then you'll have you guys go to uh, Mantua? No, go to Liguria. There you go. I do have a claim on Italy over here in Piedmont, but that is not the target at all. Most likely, we will not take that. Okay, come on back from Augsburg. Who else needs a hug? Bavaria needs a hug. Stupid wrong religion, Bavaria. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? He's like, I'm Protestant. I'm an individual. Oh, wow. Um, Slavonia is almost completely Protestant. Poor guy. And Germany is not annexing his union, buddies. Why is Germany not annexing his unions? I don't know, but he's not. Uh-oh, rebels. Oh, man, and we're fucking black flagged again. What a joke. Don't like the whole black flag thing when we're in uncolonized territory. Uh, Brittany nationalist? Yeah, Britain nationalist. Whatever. Whatever. No one cares about Britain nationalists. 
Relations with Tyrol would be nice. Relations with Tyrol. There you go. Yeah, Italy is invading Byzantium. You can see they really are invading Byzantium. Holy shit. Italy, Italy. Yeah, they're way down here. They're not in Constantinople yet, but they're almost there. And they are at 55 war score. Wow. Uh, so his armies will come thundering back at some point. They're not here yet. The Sunnis have a pretty decent navy. There you go. Byzantium will cede Naples, Epirus, and Zeta to Italy. Wow. Oh my goodness. Italy, you prick. I might even make him release Sicily. That'd be nice. Sicily or Apulia or both? Maybe. Think about it. So now his army is going to come home. Presumably they're black flagged. Or they may not come home. If they're standing in Zeta or Epirus, then they won't come back. And that's kind of interesting. I wonder if the Sunnis want peace, because they're in a separate war now. Let me have a diplomat. Let's go talk to the Sunnis. Because if I can get their navy out of here, we might be able to bring our navy in and actually wreck some havoc over here. Our navy's pretty good, but I don't want to fight the Sunni navy because it's about equal quality to ours. Oh shit, I don't need more Protestants. Fuck you, Protestants. Oh, and Germany has insulted us. Hey, two can play that game, you little prick. Um, send an insult. Take that, Germany. Not only did I excommunicate you, but now you've been insulted. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there goes Marie. Um, Bourbon, Arion, Languedoc, Dauphine, Provence. I think Dauphine would be nice. I mean, they're all nice. And cores are still coming out in these provinces. It's going to take a while, though. Alright, there goes Baron. Move to Roussillon. Roussillon. There goes Toulouse. Go to Languedoc. Siege him up. What are we at anyway? Because that includes his capital now. That is... 25. Ah, 42 for that demand. That's never going to happen. Ooh, Croatia is invading Byzantium. What? Croatia is invading Byzantium. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Croatian reconquest of Dalmatia. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Go Croatia. That is one ballsy move. It's one ballsy move for mankind. Yeah, I, I think I think what happened is Italy's troops are staying here in Zeta and Epirus, probably to keep the revolt risk down. Does it show troops are here? No, we can't tell. We'd have to send our navy over to take a look. I think he has his troops in Zeta and Epirus, and that's why he's not bringing them back. Italy has a bigger navy than us? I don't think so. Italy. Oh, maybe they do. There's a 97. Wow, they have the biggest navy in the world. I did not expect that. Wow, you are correct. Italy has a bigger navy than us. Never would have guessed. Well, thanks for letting me know. Okay, what do we want to improve relations with? Maybe Weimar. Sure, why not? And Bremen? Yeah. Keep relations good. Yeah, if Italy doesn't send any troops over, this is going to be an easy, easy war. Just siege them up. We won't be able to get 100% because we can't get to the islands, but that's okay. We don't need 100%. We're called diplomats. Oh, we can do another bulb. Oh, another colonist. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And we get more tolerance of heretics. So our religious tolerance is now 3 for heretics. That's pretty good. And yeah, let's go over here to Unamakik. Good times. Finished a bunch of buildings. Great. Uh, can we also build some more? Probably. Except that we're broke. But that's okay. We got some buildings in. 
I love that he is willing to stand here on the fucking island. <laughs> He's got a pretty good general, 3-4. Ours is a little better, but if he attacks us, he'll be attacking most likely into the mountains, and he'll have a negative 2 for uh, doing attacking across a major river. Well, it's not a river, but it counts as like a major river. So he'll have technically a negative 4. He probably won't want to do that, but I've seen the AI do that before. I've seen it happen. It's like, I wouldn't recommend anyone doing that ever, but I've seen it happen. Byzantium needs us to weaken Italy. Yeah, I'm sure Byzantium would love it if we weakened Italy. Then again, Byzantium is our rival. Italy is not our rival. We can't actually rival Italy. For whatever reason, we cannot rival Italy. Oh, we're getting attacked. Really? Okay, whatever. And we're in the mountains too, so that's nice. How's that working out for you, Toulouse? Oh, more Protestants. Goodness, I don't need that. I don't need more Protestants. Get out of here. All right, Treviso has fallen, but we're not going to move this army. This army is going to stay right there. Okay, so that little Talusian army was just squished. Squish. And we need relations again. Mycin, sure. And we're getting attacked. Whoa, he must have come from somewhere. Uh, I can't turn my checkbox on, but I can turn the checkbox on here. And leave maybe just one dude. And let's go. See if we can get Luxembourg to come help us. That would be nice. There we go. Good times. Ow. Ow. Oh, that hurts a little. That's a 4-3 versus our 3-1. He has a 4-3 and a 3-4. I'm jelly. But I think we've got this one. We do. Just barely. So we're going to leave six guys there? No, we'll leave two guys there. The rest of us are going to check Mark and follow him. I bet he's going to Brescia or Trent, because they're all mountains. But we might even attack him. No, he's actually running to Freely. Interesting. Well, I'll follow him there. Onward. And we have rebels up here. Okay. Can do. Our Cape Verde colony is done. Great. Hello, Cape Verde. Welcome. And our explorer. I forgot about our explorer. Let's go check out uh, the southern island down here. What do we got? Whoa, that is a large sea tile. <laughs> okay, go on back that back to this colony. There you go. And it looks like someone's at war over here. What is this? The Iroquois are invading Pequot. Pequot. Oh, poor Pequot. They never had a fair chance at life. Oh, goodness, Pequot. 
I don't think we should attack into Carnton, because that'll be across a river into the mountains. And he is going to stop there, most likely. Yes, he is. All right, so instead of that, uh, let's go to Trent. I'll turn off the checkbox for now. Because Trent is mountains as well. I'd rather defend in the mountains than attack in the mountains, right? Okay, Dauphine is finished. Uh, might be able to piece this guy out. What do you got for me? You got... Oh, he still won't piece out. Wow. That's pretty amazing that he doesn't want peace at this point. Hmm. Wow, 64 OE for that crap. But we'd be selling Baron and Paragord to Guinez, so... Or, no, I'm sorry, not Guinez, Marsan. Uh, he actually moved his capital to Laporte, so that's nice. But yeah, how much OE do we have? 64. Only 12. Okay, so we only have 12 AE, so we can play with up to 88, but I don't want 88 AE. That's a little crazy. Alright, there goes Rue Salon. Uh, can we get relations up, maybe, with Ulm? Yeah, get relations up with Ulm. And also... Even Munich is happy. Uh, Augsburg is pretty happy. But Den is pretty happy. I want to make sure people are happy. Yeah, go to Olo Obotrites. Obotrites, go. And Weligrad, what is this? He's got Norse Zealots in Weligrad. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's going to lose that land. They're going to flip to probably Finn. Finn is the only Norse nation out there. Oh no, no, this is religious Norse, not cultural Norse. Hmm. I should probably help him with that, but I can't get any access. I'd have to go through Germany, and Germany hates me, so he would never give me access. Damn it. Oh well, whatever. We're about to lose... Morbihan, Morbid. But that's fine. We'll just um, go siege him back up later. What is this? Lose stability, lose money, or trade efficiency, and national tax goes down for 10 years. Wow, well, I'm not going to lose stability, that's for sure. Never want to lose stability. Oh shit, here comes Toulouse's 13 stack? Really? A 13 stack. Man, that's going to be surprising, and it's going to hit like a truck. Oh man, I don't want to fight that 13 stack, but I think we're going to have to. So let's head over to Kai Voy. See if we can't meet him on an even playing field. Would be nice, rather than just getting, you know, surprised. Surprise butt sex. Now we should have Lombardia pretty soon. Oh shit, we actually got attacked here. Yeah, he's attacking in the mountains across a double river, so it's negative four. This guy's an idiot. This guy's toast. Um... I guess I'll go siege up his capital now. No, go siege Mantua. I can't believe he's attacking me here. This is suicide on his part. There's Modena. Aha! We have the target province. And you want to give me... Bari. Wow, really? So you siege up half of someone's nation, including their capital, and he wants to give me one province. That doesn't sound reasonable at all. But that's what he's offering. And yeah, we're dominating this battle. I don't know why he's even doing this. This is a terrible battle for him. This is why I like Trevizo. And he's retreating to Verona. Alright, fair enough. Oh no, more Protestants. Oh shit, we don't need this. You know what though? We're at the 40 minute mark. My goodness, I'm sorry I went on so long for this episode. 
Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time for further adventures in the lands of Flanders. Actually, we are the Netherlands now, huh? No more Flanders. We're the Netherlands. We're the Netherlands now. We're the Netherlands now. We have colonies in... What region is this? This is Colonial Eastern America. All right. Sounds good. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.